my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And by the way, I upload new videos every week. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I have a request at the end of this video. If you don't mind going over and taking a look at my playlist of videos that I've done in the past, I'm certain you'll find something that you find interesting. Share those videos with people that you know. Today on Creative Glam, I'm doing topiaries, indoor topiaries. I got these spheres from Home Goods, and I'm going to be making four. Two are going in the family room, and two are going in the master bath. So if it sounds like something you're interested in seeing, and yes, I hope that it is. This is the list of the things that you'll need to complete this project. So let's get started. Okay, I've got my gloves on now to protect my manicure. Let's make topiaries. Gotta stick this into the center of this. All right, get started the way I'd like it to. We'll see. Then I take this, make sure I find the. See that side looks a little flat to me, so I'm gonna make that the bottom. Take it in. Go. Let's see, it's straight. So the actually it does. The spheres came from um, the smaller one. The two smaller ones came. This size came from Hobby Lobby, and this size came from um, Home Goods. So I got them from two different locations. I don't know if you can see this top, but that's how I want it to fit. Then, that works. probably should have colored the stick in here and I still can I still can go back with some brown paint not spray paint but um, like some Martha Stewart paint and paint that brown I'm pretty sure I am I like that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go uh, get some paint and I'm gonna paint the sticks I will paint the sticks because I think it'll look much better with the sticks painted. Much better. But I like them. It wasn't very difficult to do. I just took the larger sphere. Because this was so deep, I added paper down into the bottom. Then I took my foam cube, pierced it with the dowel, set it down all the way to the bottom of this vase. Then I could add the first larger sphere on the bottom and really it's just resting on the bottom of this pot then I added the second shorter uh, dowel to this and hot glue hot glued it and then put the smaller sphere on top and I ran a bead as you saw a bead of hot glue to keep it in place as well and I like it I like it quite a bit that's it like I said all I have to do is just paint and I'm done with those that's two Okay, now these topiaries will be heading uh, back into the master bath. So. These will only have one sphere, so they'll be a little easier to do. Turn it over. 
couch that's hot. Additional moss I want to add to the top. I have this left over from a previous project. I hadn't decided whether I even wanted to use moss or whether I wanted to use grass, but I'm feeling the moss a little better. Like I said, I have some in there, so I'm just I'm gonna drop this on the top for a little extra green. I'm gonna drop that on the top. I think that is so cute. Simple and easy. Because again, they were already topiary. They were already topiaries. I just took the old uh, sphere off because I didn't like it anymore. I just took the old sphere off and refreshed it by getting four topiaries, two for the family room and two for the master bath. I think turned out absolutely gorgeous. Again. enjoyed my thanks for tuning in I'm glad you enjoyed my video if you haven't already hit that subscribe button the notification bell and leave a comment now is the time to go over and check out my playlist of videos that I've done in the past I'm certain you'll find something that you find interesting and share these videos with people that you know again thanks for watching have a blessed day and I'll see you next week bye